All right, so we'll get started. Um, so welcome everyone uh, to our ongoing integral probability seminar. Um, this morning, we have the pleasure of having two speakers, uh, Elisa Kniesel and then Evgeny Dimitrov immediately after. Um, I'll introduce Elisa in a moment, but uh, the general approach is that anybody who has a question is welcome to unmute themselves and ask it. If you don't have a question, um, mute yourself so we don't hear random stuff going on. Um, alternatively, you can also ask your question in the Zoom uh, group chat. Make sure that it's directed to everybody because if you direct it just to the speaker, uh, she or he may not see it and then you might not get your answer qu or your question answered. Um, okay, so we, uh, we have Elisa Kniesel speaking to us first about invariant measure for the open KPZ equation. So Elisa, why don't you take it away? Um, thank you for the introduction. I'm happy to speak at this online summer school. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I am uh, going to talk about our joint work with uh, Ivan uh, about invariant measure for the open KPZ. Uh, and, I will, uh, uh, and I will start with the outline. So uh, I, uh, I need to, uh, 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 to say that this is a work in progress and I hope uh, uh, that uh, it's almost close to its, uh, to its end and being ready to uh, post. Um, so uh, the outline would be the following. So uh, though like the main objective uh, for the talk is to, uh, and like for the project is to construct the invariant measure for the KPZ equation, um, uh, most of the talk I'll be to, uh, talking about a different object. Uh, the object called uh, ASAP, um, which most of you is familiar with. So it's a certain uh, particle uh, system. Uh, and then uh, its height function, uh, certain observable of the system is uh, related uh, to the solution uh, of the KPZ equation. So um, like working with the uh, ASAP, um, uh, there is a way through the limiting procedure to get some information about the solutions of the KPZ. And another uh, object that I'm gonna be talking about a lot is the so-called ASCII-Wilson process. Wilson process, uh, which was introduced by Brick, Matisic, uh, and Veselovsky. Uh, and uh, this process um, will help me to study the invariant measure for the ASAP, uh, which will lead ultimately to the invariant measure for the KPZ uh, equation. So this is the outline. So uh, most of the time I'll be talking about ASAP, uh, invariant measure for ASAP, and this uh, ASCII Wilson process. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let me start with the ASAP. So this is a system of uh, particles uh, uh, jumping on the line. So uh, let me draw it in this way. So here we have uh, like those are empty sites, which might be occupied by uh, particles. So say like this is a particle, then a whole particle, particle. So the particles are allowed to uh, to jump uh, uh, left and right with 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 certain rates, uh, and uh, there's also uh, a condition that the particle can only jump to the nearest site, and uh, it, it it is possible only if this site is vacant. So in particular, uh, a jump like this is uh, 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 is not allowed. So there are different types of, uh, uh, of ASAP that people study uh, uh, based on the configuration space of uh, particles. So let me list them because later I will compare uh, like what we have for open, uh, uh, for open ASAP uh, to other cases. So the cases are as follows. So the first one uh, is the ASAP on the line. So when the con configuration space is the whole lattice Z, so this is exactly uh, the uh, type of model which I illustrated on top here. So uh, another uh, type of, uh, of, of condition is the so-called periodic uh, ASAP, so ASAP on a ring. So the uh, particles uh, are organized uh, in this way. So they jump around. Uh, the third one is, uh, 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 ASAP on half line. So uh, here a certain extra feature is added. Um, 
which is called the, uh, the reservoir. So now the picture is as follows. So uh, on the left, there is a box filled with particles. Uh, and now uh, an extra feature is that the particles are allowed to enter and exit the system with, with certain rates on the left. And the fourth condition, uh, and the fourth type, uh, which uh, is the topic, uh, like essentially of my talk, is the open ASAP. Uh, so here, uh, the uh, so it, notation would be uh, z, uh, z n, where n would be uh, the total number of sites. And the picture is like this. So uh, the particles are allowed to enter and exit uh, the system from left and right now and n denotes the total number of sites. So they can enter and exit, enter and exit. Okay, um, any questions about this? So this is like uh, four different types and uh, I'll, go to, uh, I'll be talking about the uh, fourth one. So, or, which is called open uh, ASAP. Okay, so here's like a, a, a more formal uh, picture uh, of this uh, process and dynamics. And also here we'll fix uh, the parameters of the model, which I will uh, need later. So here uh, the total number of sites is tens. So here like uh, on, the, on this interval, we see the dynamics I was talking uh, about. And now the rates to enter and exit the system from the left are denoted by alpha and gamma. Uh, the reads on the right are denoted by beta and delta. And I'm uh, normalizing the system in such a way that, uh, uh, that uh, the um, rate of jump to the right is one and the rate of jump to the left uh, is Q. Uh, all the uh, parameters are assumed to be uh, non-negative um, and uh, alpha and beta are, are assumed to be strictly positive. And uh, uh, my Q will be uh, uh, between zero and one, uh, strictly less than one. Um, in, uh, uh, since when Q equals to one, the, uh, uh, the dynamics uh, uh, become symmetric and uh, there's a, uh, uh, certain uh, de uh, degeneration which is happening, uh, which I will not gonna uh, uh, touch in this talk. Okay, so uh, there's also a convenient way to encode this dynamic through uh, the following um, uh, zigzag profile, which is uh, drawn here. Uh, so, uh, uh, so this, is, uh, this profile is the uh, graph of so-called height function, and, and, uh, and the height function is uh, defined on all the uh, sides of, of the uh, system, and uh, uh, the the way the evolution of the height function uh, goes uh, uh, with respect to the dynamics of the system is drawn here. So uh, if the, uh, say the particle wants to jump to, uh, to the left and um, uh, it uh, does this jump, then uh, like this corner is, is added to the profile. Uh, similarly, if the uh, particle jumps to the right. Now, like the uh, this triangle is uh, flipped down, so it's flipped down like this. And a similar um, uh, and and uh, similarly, uh, we also change the picture uh, at the boundaries here and here. Okay, so um, uh, this is the definition of the model. So uh, uh, now I, I will talk about uh, what is uh, known uh, about this model uh, at stationarity. So, uh, um, so ASAP uh, is a continuous time uh, Markov chain and will denote the unique invariant measure uh, by uh, pi, nu of, uh, pi nu of tau, where tau are the, uh, uh, are the occupation variables. So tau i uh, is equal, uh, uh, i is the, uh, is the uh, site uh, is equal to one and zero, uh, depending uh, on uh, whether there is um, a particle present or there is no particle. And uh, I'll also introduce the notation uh, for any function f on the state space. So with this uh, uh, with these brackets, uh, so the expected value of n is just uh, uh, yeah. So this is just the uh, definition written here. 
Um, okay, so uh, what is uh, so what is known about the uh, invariant measure for the ASAP? So in the case of the uh, ASAP on the line and uh, on the uh, circle, the invariant measure uh, can be computed simply, and uh, the answer would be uh, the product Bernoulli measure for the uh, open um, uh, for, um, for the whole line or the in, uh, or the uniform measure for the ring. Uh, however, in the uh, case of the presence uh, of the reservoirs, the dynamics uh, and, uh, and like the whole situation uh, becomes much more interesting and uh, there is no a simple formula except for uh, special cases of the parameters for uh, invariant uh, measure. Uh, however, there are different um, ways to uh, approach it, the questions of how to character characterize it and uh, to study uh, different uh, uh, things like, for, for example, the correlation functions uh, in stationarity. Um, okay, so um, uh, next I will um, uh, show um, the, the results uh, in this uh, uh, direction. Uh, and for that, uh, let me just uh, first uh, formally uh, define the height function, which I pictorially explained uh, before. So the height function uh, is defined uh, for like for, uh, for all times uh, and for any location x uh, uh, in the following way. Uh, uh, so here we have uh, the value of uh, height function at zero, uh, which is uh, defined uh, to be the number of uh, particles uh, which uh, 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 the, the uh, normalization that we take is that uh, hn would be defined as the minus two times the number of particles to uh, that enter uh, the first side of the system minus the number of particles that exit uh, the uh, first side uh, up to time t. So this is the uh, normalization that we take. And then uh, the, um, uh, uh, like the, the most interesting part is this uh, sum uh, um, oh, oh, uh, um, of the, uh, of the uh, uh, occupancy variables for all sides of the system. Okay, so this is the form definition of the height function. Uh, and the, the results uh, uh, I, I will state in, in terms of it. Um, okay, so um, uh, what is interesting that's happening for the uh, uh, for the open ASAP is the uh, presence of a phase transition uh, and its uh, uh, stationarity, um, uh, which is represented by uh, different values of current. Uh, so let me introduce uh, the notion of current, and uh, I will explain uh, how the uh, phase diagram uh, in terms of current uh, looks for open ASAP. So um, uh, by uh, definition, let me uh, introduce current uh, through site uh, I uh, to be the following quantity. So this is the expectation with respect to our stationary measure. Uh, so, uh, here it's tau one. So since we are at, at stationarity, it doesn't matter uh, which uh, site I am looking at. And I will need to normalize by uh, one minus Q uh, for convenience uh, in the formulas. So uh, in, uh, in terms of the uh, net current of the particles entering and exiting uh, the system, uh, this, uh, 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 this quantity Jn can be uh, expressed as the uh, expected value of this uh, n, where n is the uh, net current uh, at time t divided by t one minus q. Okay, so uh, and then the statement is uh, uh, that uh, for uh, as n goes to in, uh, to infinity. Uh, then uh, the limit of GNs uh, exists, and moreover, it can uh, it can be um, uh, uh, explicitly computed, uh, which I will uh, present next. Okay, so uh, in in order to explain how to compute um, uh, this current, 
uh, as n goes uh, to infinity, um, I will need to, uh, um, uh, to explain certain uh, heuristic argument, uh, which goes as follows. So uh, uh, let us do the following guess. So uh, this is just the uh, heuristic in order to uh, like to, uh, uh, to prove the phase transition rigorously. It involves a lot of work, uh, starting from the um, uh, the matrix ansatz formulas for the uh, uh, for the invariant measure for the open ASAP, um, which I will not go through. But uh, like, uh, however, let me explain some intuition of how it works. So. Uh, so let us do um, uh, the following guess uh, that at, uh, so if we look uh, just at the left uh, uh, boundary of uh, my system, so the left two sides, uh, so here, so just these two, uh, let, us, uh, let us assume uh, that uh, uh, this is actually uh, like in the limit uh, that uh, the density uh, of the particles in, in these two side is a product Bernoulli with the density rho L. Product Bernoulli. So again, this is just a guess. Okay, so uh, now uh, suppose uh, that um, um, this is uh, the case. Uh, uh, now let me uh, try to uh, uh, to uh, uh, to compute this density rho l. So the question: uh, How to compute rho l in terms of the parameters of the system? In terms of alpha, beta, gamma, uh, delta. Okay. So. Uh, uh, then the following uh, argument uh, about the conservation of uh, particles uh, will give me an answer. So in order to compute rho L, I will notice the following. So let me again draw this picture uh, on the left. So let me uh, com uh, 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 compute uh, like how many particles uh, are coming and uh, and exiting uh, site one. Okay, so uh, let me recall the notation. So for the uh, re reservoir, uh, I have the following. Oops. I have uh, particles entering uh, with the parameter alpha and exiting uh, with parameter uh, gamma. So now uh, I have a particle uh, jumping in uh, to uh, my site number one uh, with probability alpha times one mi minus rho L uh, because uh, the particle can jump in only under the condition that this site is vacant. Okay. Uh, so uh, now uh, the number of particles jumping uh, to the left uh, would be given by uh, uh, gamma rho L, okay? So uh, now, uh, so this is like uh, uh, the net current uh, of particles passing through, uh, 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 passing through uh, site uh, one uh, with relation to the uh, reservoir. So now what is happening on the right? Uh, so uh, when the particle can jump and uh, 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 jump into site two and uh, go uh, uh, go backwards, so the answer uh, uh, would be that it's um, uh, so the uh, particle uh, can uh, yeah. So if we have two neighboring sites, uh, uh, there could be an interchange uh, uh, between the uh, position of particle and hole. We, with the probability rho uh, L times one minus rho L. So we need to have uh, a configuration, a whole particle, particle whole. Uh, and then the uh, jump is happening with the rate one minus Q. Uh, so this is what we'll have on the right hand side. So this equation represents that the number of particles uh, like um, entering uh, from the, uh, from uh, this uh, equation represents the conservation uh, of particles passing through site one. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, as we see, uh, this is a quadratic equation in row L, and uh, in this way, we can um, uh, find the uh, formulas for row L in terms of the uh, parameters of the system. So in terms of alpha, beta, uh, uh, gamma, and delta. Okay, so uh, uh, the phase diagram uh, is given now in terms of these parameters rho L and um, rho R. So rho R is, uh, is, is, the similar, is a similar parameter computed on the right end of the, of the model. So rho R is, uh, is uh, computed um, through the same computation, assuming that uh, on the right, uh, we also have uh, the configuration of uh, the uh, of of sites uh, with number n and n minus um, one, um, such that uh, uh, well, this is a product Bernoulli measure with density rho r. Now, density rho r. Okay. So uh, now the phase diagram is the following. So uh, if we um, uh, put uh, rho L on this vertical axis and one minus rho R on the horizontal axis, then depending whether um, rho L and rho R is greater or less than one half, uh, we'll see a, a, a different behavior of the system. So in particular here, so in this region, uh, which is called the maximum uh, current phase, uh, where we have uh, that uh, rho L uh, is greater than one half and uh, rho R is less than one half, uh, is less than one half. Uh, then uh, uh, the left boundary creates particles at a fast enough uh, rate uh, and then, uh, and, uh, 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 so that the system is able to transport particles from left to right uh, uh, in the bulk at its uh, and its maximal efficiency. Uh, and then uh, uh, if we, uh, uh, if we de uh, uh, denote the, uh, the local density uh, in the bulk by a row, uh, then uh, the formula for the uh, current uh, is uh, uh, just rho times one minus rho. Uh, and uh, this is maximized when rho is equal to one half uh, so that's where the, uh, the final answer j is equal to one over four is coming from. So this is the maximal current phase. Uh, there are uh, two more uh, phases, uh, high density and low density. So this is the high density phase and also the low density phase. Okay. Uh, so the low density uh, phase here, so now um, uh, uh, um, uh, we, uh, we, we have the following situation. Uh, the left boundary creates particles relatively slowly. So the rho L is small. Um, and the right boundary removes them fast enough. So they, they do not uh, build up there. Uh, as such, it ends up that the density uh, in the bulk is uh, dictated by what we have on the left and the formula uh, is uh, j is equal to rho L times one minus rho L uh, in this region. And now the high density uh, phase can be obtained by the uh, whole uh, particle uh, duality for the system. Uh, or uh, like uh, by the same um, uh, type of explanation saying that now on the right, uh, the particles are, um, um, if one minus rho r uh, is small, it means that we are removing particles uh, quite, uh, uh, quite at a fast pace uh, from the system. And the whole current in the bulk is dictated by the behavior at the right end, and now it's equal to rho r um, times one minus rho r. Okay, uh, there's another interesting uh, uh, division in this diagram. Uh, so this diagonal uh, uh, punctured line. So where uh, rho L uh, is equal to uh, rho R. Uh, so this is the punctured diagonal line, this one. So this is the only um, uh, uh, line uh, where the invariant measure can be um, 
simply uh, analyze and uh, and it will be uh, again a product Bernoulli measure uh, with the density uh, rho L which is equal to rho R on this diagonal. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the phase diagram for uh, uh, the uh, open ASAP. So uh, it was uh, obtained in the following works. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so in the modular case by Uchiyama, Samot and Vadati in 2003. Okay, so now uh, from this uh, phase diagram, we can state uh, the, uh, the low flash numbers. So uh, further in the talk, I will uh, use uh, di uh, different parameters, uh, the parameters um, uh, C and A. Uh, so uh, they are recomputed from rho L and rho R uh, in the, from this um, uh, two formulas. Okay, so uh, from this phase diagram, the following uh, low flash numbers follows for uh, this quantity. Um, um, so uh, we get uh, that uh, or the uh, this quantity like behaves uh, linearly um, in all uh, uh, in all phases with different uh, constants uh, de uh, uh, depending on the phase, uh, and the, the limit here is in uh, probability. Uh, let me remark that uh, the um, uh, uh, like uh, so. Um, uh, even though like I state this theorem uh, uh, in this form, so one over uh, n, uh, the weighted sum of the occupancy variables, uh, it can be easily rewritten in terms of the height function. So uh, essentially we get the low fledge numbers uh, for the height function of the system. Okay, so now the interesting question uh, is uh, about the fluctuations. Uh, uh, of the uh, height function uh, in different regions of the phase diagram. Uh, and uh, it was uh, addressed in the like, largest generality so far in the work of, of, of Brink and Wing in 2018, where they uh, prove the following result. Uh, they prove that uh, the following quantity, so the center, uh, yeah, so, uh, so again, yeah, so this is uh, how I write it. Again, it, it, uh, it can be rewritten in terms of the uh, centered height function. Uh, so what they get is they get the following uh, uh, convergence in distribution of this quantity uh, to the uh, sum of the uh, of two independent processes, Brownian motion and uh, and and Brownian excursion uh, on on zero one. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the result uh, uh, which holds for the maximal current phase. Uh, in uh, this work, they obtain uh, 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 they obtain similar. Uh, results for other phases. Uh, but let me draw how it looks like. So if I go back to uh, the picture with the phase diagram, so this is rho L, this is um, uh, minus rho R, and we have this uh, phase diagram. So here we have the sum of Brownian motion with uh, Brownian uh, excursion. Uh, and then, uh, uh, if I draw this diagonal line here now, then in these triangles, um, I will have just the Brownian motion uh, with certain coefficients uh, which I am not uh, writing down. Uh, so there would be uh, certain coefficients uh, depending on these parameters uh, A and C. Uh, and then uh, there's also interesting things happening uh, on these two uh, so when one approaches these two uh, lines uh, in, the in the phase diagram, so now uh, in instead of um, the uh, sum of Brownian motion and, and uh, Brownian excursion, uh, we'll have uh, uh, something different. So we'll now have uh, the following. So uh, it would be uh, the... Uh, uh, the sum of Brownian motion uh, and um, uh, Brownian meander. Brownian meander. Okay. 
Okay, so it's a, okay. So uh, that's the full picture uh, obtained uh, by uh, uh, by Brick and Wing um, uh, about the fluctuations of the height function of the open ASAP. And it, uh, and uh, yeah, so as we see, it's kind of deals with this picture on the uh, on the right from the diagonal line. So a big question is uh, what is going on here. So and uh, yeah, so far. Um, to the best of my knowledge, there are like no tools available to address this question uh, in this uh, triangle. It would be a very nice to uh, to develop some methods there. Okay, so now uh, like um, uh, what uh, we are interested in is the uh, is the fluctuations around this point, this triple point uh, in the phase diagram, and this. Um, and this, um, uh, the uh, like, uh, zooming in uh, near this triple point also uh, is uh, where the connection uh, with the KPZ uh, equation is um, uh, coming in uh, the picture. Okay, so uh, the uh, type of the behavior that will be interesting in uh, would be the following. Uh, so uh, we'll look uh, at the following scaling. So uh, we'll scale, uh, uh, which we'll call weekly asymmetric scaling. Uh, we'll fix uh, parameters u and v in, uh, 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 to be real. Uh, so far, our results will hold for the parameters u and v to be uh, strictly positive, uh, both of them. So, uh, but in principle, we uh, conjecture that they should hold true for any values of u and v. So now um, we'll uh, take the following uh, reparameterization of the system. So the parameters uh, a, and c, uh, a and c uh, would be given in the following way. So it's q to the uh, raised to the power u and um, uh, c is q raised to the power v. In terms of these uh, parameters rho l and rho r, uh, it means that um, we have the following scaling. So rho L and rho R are very close to one half. So it's exactly this triple point uh, in the uh, in the in the phase diagram, uh, and uh, uh, the correction is of order of one over square root of n, uh, where like the uh, uh, where this correction also linearly depends on this parameters u and v. Uh, we also, uh, uh, in order to uh, get this connection uh, with the KPZ equation, uh, we need to impose the following condition uh, on the model, uh, which is called the uh, Ligitz condition. So we'll assume that our model satisfy uh, the uh, following, uh, uh, the, uh, the following uh, equation. Um, okay, so uh, this is the uh, as the scaling uh, uh, that we'll use, and we'll study the uh, fluctuations um, uh, of the height function with respect to the scaling. Uh, okay, so uh, now I will need to introduce a couple of more uh, 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 assumptions, and finally state uh, the result, um, uh, the construction that we are proving. So uh, we first uh, denote the uh, the rescaled height function. So here uh, we uh, scale uh, the time uh, as n squared, and we linearly scale space. And overall scaling here is the same as we uh, previously saw. So it's one over square root of n for the uh, fluctuation type of theorems uh, uh, in the work that I cited. And we also need to uh, like do uh, like a renormalization here. Uh, and then like uh, we'll introduce uh, the object which we'll work with is the, um, uh, the exponentiation of this uh, scaled height, uh, uh, high, uh, height function, which I'll denote by uh, tilde z. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, then um, uh, I will state first uh, the result uh, that will uh, explain uh, the connection of, of or like this whole picture, which I was talking about with the KPZ, uh, 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 with the open KPZ equation. Uh, and in order to state this uh, result, uh, originally due to uh, Corbin and Shen, and I, I need to introduce one more assumption. Uh, so here, uh, the result uh, 
uh, this connection is more general, so we, uh, it goes beyond the, uh, the assumption that we start from uh, stationarity. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, 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 for the more general setup, uh, uh, let me say that the, uh, that the sequence of, in, of initial data, HN, satisfies all the bounds uh, if there, there exists a, a constant C uh, such that uh, the following uh, uh, bounds in LN norm hold for Z tilde. Okay, so um, this is the, um, the assumption on the initial data. Uh, that uh, we need to state the following result uh, due to a Corvin and Shen in the case of the parameters U and V greater than zero and um, for general parameters uh, proved in the work by Shalin Pare. Um, so the statement is the following. Uh, so I um, assume uh, that uh, uh, we have the convergence of the uh, this pro of this process Z tilde, this in the, uh, the initial data uh, to uh, some process Z. Okay, uh, then, uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, um, uh, then under the above, uh, 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 then under the weekly symmetric scaling and the above assumptions on the holder bounds, uh, we get the following, we get the convergence of uh, the scaled height function to uh, this object HT of X, uh, which is uh, a solution to the open KPZ equation uh, with the initial data uh, given in this form. Uh, so, uh, 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 well, the way the proof is organized is that uh, 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 first it is proven that the uh, process uh, Z tilde N uh, convergence uh, to the uh, solution of the uh, stochastic heat equation, uh, and then uh, the uh, 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 the solution for uh, like this uh, H uh, is defined as the logarithm of the solution obtained for the stochastic heat equation. Uh, and um, like the, um, like why uh, it's organized in this way is because, uh, let, uh, let me uh, remind that the open KPC equation is the following object. So I will not go like into details, uh, uh, like in, into technical uh, details about it, but uh, let me just briefly remind that uh, the open KPC is, uh, is an equation given in this form. And uh, in our case, um, we'll be working like on the line, on, on the interval. So we will uh, impose this uh, boundary conditions uh, at zero and one to uh, that this derivative is equal to U minus one half and V minus one, uh, and V minus one half where U and V are our parameters. So of course, like all this, um, uh, due to the uh, um, the roughness of the height function, uh, or, 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 sorry, of the uh, of, of the age, uh, it takes like a lot of work to make uh, precise uh, uh, like the the definition of the uh, s solution of this equation in this form. Um, so I will not go into the uh, details about it. Okay, um, so. Uh, please excuse my uh, excuse me being very informal about this part uh, in the talk. Um, okay, uh, so now um, what is the result uh, that we get? So again, uh, in the case when U and V are positive, um, so now we start uh, the ASAP uh, at uh, stationarity, uh, and uh, we work with the corresponding height function. Um, we prove uh, the following statement. So, and here, like this part one, is where our work is still in uh, is uh, is still in progress. We are, um, need to uh, work out some technical uh, details which are currently missing. So, um, we uh, so we show that um, uh, this uh, uh, if we start uh, at, at stationarity, then the sequence. Uh, uh, of height function at time zero uh, indeed satisfies this holder bounds uh, so that we can uh, apply theorem uh, due to Corbin and Shen. Uh, uh, and then we, uh, like, uh, we uh, get that uh, there exists a random function uh, which is denoted by the uh, stationary. Uh, 
uh, so, uh, 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 such that uh, like our uh, so the the, um, the exponent of the height function. So uh, let me remind that z denotes the exponent and tilde denotes the, uh, the rescaled version. So the uh, uh, the uh, exponent of the rescaled height uh, uh, height function converges uh, to this process uh, uh, z stationary. Okay, so. Uh, uh, with these two uh, two uh, two things in hand, we can uh, use the theorem uh, due to Corwin and Shen uh, to say that then uh, the um, uh, the scaled height function uh, converges uh, in appropriate sense to the um, uh, to the um, uh, 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 to the solution of the open KPZ equation, and moreover. Uh, we get that uh, the uh, uh, the law of uh, 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 that the uh, uh, that the special uh, increments of a of this uh, of h stationary uh, are uh, independent of t. Uh, so we get this uh, spatial invariance. Okay. Uh, so this is the uh, main uh, um, the main result. Uh, and moreover. Uh, what we also do, we uh, actually give a, a, a characterization of this uh, limit process uh, H stationary. Okay, uh, now I probably need to pause and ask if there are any questions. Okay, um, uh, uh, now uh, uh, there's an important part which I haven't addressed yet uh, is the question about the uh, uniqueness. So in this way, we construct uh, an invariant object for the um, uh, 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 for these uh, space increments uh, of the solution to the open KPZ. Uh, but what about the uniqueness? Uh, so this part, um, yeah. So um, we we conjecture that it's uh, uh, that the object uh, we construct is uh, uh, precisely the unique uh, invariant measure uh, in this sense, um, uh, but. Uh, uh, we uh, don't have a, a proof of it yet. Okay, so uh, so uh, let me uh, uh, say a couple of words about the uh, the way that we are able to characterize uh, this uh, stationary uh, 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 the, uh, this object H uh, stationary, and the way we. Uh, Characterize it is again through uh, characterization of uh, uh, its exponents. So, so uh, let me remind that this z is always the exponent of uh, e to the h. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the formula. So we um, uh, characterize it by uh, writing down the um, the moment generating function uh, essentially. And here uh, I. Uh, uh, I, I present uh, the formulas that we get uh, for the um, uh, for the uh, negative moments um, uh, of z. So here t is positive. So in, in this formula, t is positive. Uh, so the way uh, the formulas look like uh, they are uh, they look like um, uh, um, uh, for the um, uh, one point function they look as uh, they look like uh, two fold integrals so, uh, so here we have a, a prefactor so our r1 and r2 are the integration variables so here we have a prefactor which is the um, uh, the exponent of something which is uh, which is just a linear uh, function uh, in r1 and r2 uh, and also in x so this uh, um, think uh, here t squared uh, over four times x uh, is actually um, the like a, 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 you can take it out uh, from the, from all these uh, formulas uh, that we get for the moments uh, and uh, this part will uh, give the Brownian motion part. Um, so uh, we we know that for this process. Uh, um, uh, we'll have a part uh, which is Brownian motion plus something which is independent, uh, but uh, we don't know uh, the uh, like a, a nice explanation. What kind of process uh, do we get uh, besides uh, uh, these formulas for the moment generating function? 
okay, so um, uh, um, besides this factor of the, uh, uh, the exponent, we also have uh, these two functions here, uh, which now do not depend on x, they just depend on, uh, on t uh, and uh, on the integration variables. And these functions are, 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 are always uh, like uh, uh, written down in terms of uh, gamma functions. Uh, so uh, here, uh, like for the example, uh, um, my pi, uh, my p0 uh, is given in this form. So it's absolute value of the product of two, of two gamma functions divided by absolute value of another uh, gamma function. And the formula for uh, the other function, uh, p0t, uh, is also given in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of gamma functions. Uh, if you want to compute the uh, multipoint uh, moments uh, 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 at different locations, xi's, then the formulas uh, uh, that we have will be a very similar flavor. Uh, so there would be uh, a part which looks like this. So the exponent of something which is linear in all the parameters times uh, a product of functions of this form. So uh, all, all these functions are written in terms of uh, gamma functions. Uh, of the parameters and these integration variables. So this is the uh, form that we get. So uh, uh, I uh, want to mention that like uh, uh, this uh, type of, uh, um, of uh, function that we get inside the integrals uh, is uh, related to, to, uh, to generalized beta integrals. So it, uh, uh, it appears in the work of ASCII. Uh, and also, uh, you can rewrite, uh, like uh, specifying the parameters, uh, uh, you can rewrite this function uh, and uh, it uh, becomes the, uh, uh, the, um, the density for uh, the uh, uh, continuous dual Han polynomial. So these functions, uh, they, uh, uh, they appeared uh, in literature before uh, in this, uh, well, at least in these two uh, contexts. Okay, um, yeah, so now um, uh, uh, I want to just list the questions. So uh, the questions we, uh, um, yeah, so like first, uh, uh, what happens uh, um, when u and v are negative? So uh, second uh, is uh, the uniqueness of the object that we get in the limit. And the third question is the characterization a better characterization, characterization of the limiting object uh, of this object. So it would be very nice to, if it would be possible to get uh, uh, like answers of the uh, same sort as um, in the um, uh, work uh, by Breaking Wayne, which I uh, cited uh, as like uh, some of some uh, like Brownian motion and Brownian excursion or like uh, other versions of uh, this. Uh, and uh, yeah, like uh, 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 as I mentioned, we also can uh, kind of uh, factor out the Brownian part uh, in the limit object uh, uh, that we get as well from the formulas. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is uh, yeah all uh, yeah all the question yeah like the most important questions uh, uh, which we'll be very happy if uh, we'll be able to pursue. Okay, so and in the end, let me just uh, mention uh, uh, like um, uh, uh, some uh, something about the methods uh, that uh, that we use. Uh, uh, so the uh, kind of uh, key starting point uh, uh, for us is the following uh, uh, theorem uh, due to Brick and Veselovsky, um, which uh, uh, works exactly in this. Uh, if we look at the phase diagram, it works in this region. So when a, uh, a times c is less than one. So uh, the statement is the following. So uh, if we uh, order uh, uh, ti's uh, in this way, uh, then, uh, then the joint generating function for the stationary uh, distribution of the ASAP uh, can be written in this uh, very convenient form, which is very well suited uh, for the asymptotic analysis. So here on the right, uh, this YTI is, this, uh, is the, uh, the Askey-Wilson process. Uh, 
it's a certain it's 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 a mark of uh, uh, continuous time mar mark of process which can be given uh, in terms of uh, uh, writing explicitly the marginal and and, and traditional uh, probability. Uh, I will show formulas on the next slide of the special case. Uh, okay, uh, so. Uh, uh, yeah, so this uh, formula is uh, uh, obtained uh, by Brick and Veselovsky, starting from the uh, matrix ansatz and then taking the, the solution, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, written in terms of ascii wilson uh, uh, polynomials, and then they uh, rewrite uh, uh, what is obtained through these expectations. So let me remind what are the ASCII was in polynomials and uh, uh, what is this process. Uh, so uh, I'm writing here as a, a special case of this process. Um, um, so uh, let me uh, uh, assume that uh, uh, there's this um, uh, restriction on time t. And uh, the formulas that are written on this slide are, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, are already under the specialization that uh, we use in our work. Uh, so this is uh, the formulas for the uh, specialization uh, on, with weekly asymmetric scaling. Okay, uh, so the marginal and uh, of a pi and, and the transition probability is p uh, are defined in terms of uh, function a w. Uh, where uh, A W is the uh, uh, is the or, uh, is is the orthogonality measure for uh, ascii wilson polynomial. So it's written in terms of uh, so it's given uh, for the uh, for parameters A B C and D uh, under certain uh, restrictions uh, um, and uh, like the uh, like the the right hand side is. Uh, written in terms of the q gamma symbol. So let me remind you that q gamma symbol is just this product. So uh, under certain uh, uh, assumptions on A, B, C, and D, uh, the quantity on the right uh, is indeed a, a, a well-defined uh, probability measure. So uh, this assumption on T, which I had to um, uh, imposed here uh, is due to the fact that that actually if t is outside of this range, um, uh, the ascii wilson pro uh, the ascii wilson measure uh, can be defined uh, for a larger uh, range of parameters, but then uh, it's not uh, absolutely continuous anymore. So actually, it uh, develops uh, uh, atoms, and uh, it's uh, uh, yeah. So the formulas uh, become even more complicated. Okay, so this is the ascii wilson process, and this is, uh, uh, yeah, so, and uh, this is what uh, enters uh, here uh, in the formula. So now, uh, starting with this formula, we uh, perform the asymptotic analysis to, um, uh, to um, study the, um, the moment generating function for the uh, limit height function. And for that, uh, like looking at these formulas for the ascii wilson um, uh, uh, process, we see that uh, the uh, kind of key uh, 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 asymptotic statement that we need is a very good control uh, of the um, uh, q patch gamma symbols. And for that, uh, we, uh, we prove the following uh, proposition. Uh, so uh, let me uh, introduce uh, two functions, a, a plus and a minus, depending on kappa and z, uh, so written here. Uh, and then, uh, if we uh, 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 if we introduce uh, q to be e to the minus kappa, uh, so uh, uh, we then have that uh, as kappa goes to zero, uh, we uh, we get the following uh, asymptotic uh, expansions for the logarithms of the uh, uh, of the q uh, q uh, polygonal symbols. So this type of, of the results were known in uh, literature. Uh, however, for the purpose of our work, um, we uh, needed a, a very good control on the error term here, uh, both in terms of uh, Z and kappa. Uh, so we uh, needed to, uh, uh, re uh, uh, to strengthen uh, the, the results uh, for this type of uh, asymptotics. 
uh, and uh, like the way the proof goes here uh, is through uh, like a, a borrowing uh, uh, very um, uh, cute to uh, to uh, to my taste the arguments uh, from a uh, number theory um, and uh, then like uh, uh, performing also like a careful analysis of the error terms uh, there uh, also like looking at these formulas we see where all these like gamma functions uh, that we have uh, uh, are coming from so they're coming from uh, this term here uh, so this is like where uh, the uh, gamma functions arise uh, and um, yeah so uh, uh, yeah so uh, and they uh, they give the final answer for the moment generating function uh, of uh, the um, uh, of the uh, invariant measure for the special increments of the open kpz thank you very much for your attention Thank you very much, Elisa. Um, we have time for maybe one or two questions before Yevgeny's talk. Uh, there were a few already in the chat, but I think they've been mainly addressed. Uh, do other people have questions? Just feel free to unmute yourself. So uh, I actually had one question. Oh, yeah, I meant to. Um, let me turn on the video. Uh, so at some point at the beginning, probably I got lost, but um, there was a condition uh, on the parameters, uh, like uh, gamma, uh, gamma, delta, alpha, and beta, and beta, and Q. So my question is, uh, uh, how exactly, probably you mentioned, but uh, sorry, now I don't remember. Uh, how exactly was this condition? Uh, used and uh... yeah, so probably you are referring to the leakage condition, and uh, and this condition is needed uh, in the proof uh, of the theorem uh, by Corbin and Shen. Uh, so it's needed to uh, like be able to uh, like rigorously formulate what it means uh, that uh, stochastic uh, heat equation has a Robin boundary condition. Uh, yeah, so this is where it's used. Uh, um, yeah, so probably this condition you are referring to. Um, uh, yeah, so, uh, and uh, yeah, since, uh, yeah, that theorem works under this condition, we adopt this condition. Ah, okay, thank you very much. From, from the perspective of like the ascii wilson process, I don't think it's necessary. One could probably work with the general four parameters and try to, you know, extract limiting behavior. But from the stochastic analysis, we needed that in order to have a microscopic version of the boundary condition, the Robin boundary condition for the stochastic heat equation. Um, I think it's a technical condition. I think that for general parameters, as long as you tune the row L and the row R the way that Elisa writes, um, you should still get that same open KPC or you know, open stochastic heat equation. Um, but we don't have a proof of that. So okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? So if, if not, uh, let's thank Elisa again for a very nice talk.